Today I got a letter from Mike from Ann Arbor, Michigan, and he writes, as a poor audiophile, now, there's only one way to be a poor audiophile, which is the way every audiophile becomes poor, is we simply spend all our money on high quality gear and we're broke. So poor audiophile makes perfect sense. He continues, oh, I was looking for a bargain amplifier. Okay, he's not an audiophile. He did not blow all his money on the best products and he's just poor. And you can't be poor in an audiophile unless you're poor because you're an audiophile. It's a very important point to make. He goes on with, uh, I know you say you can't be a poor audiophile. Eh, you can't, oh, but he disagrees. He says, I bought the Monkey Mamp 1. Monkey, Monkey, Mookie, M-O-U-K-E-Y. That's weird, okay. He says, uh, I bought the Mookie Mamp 1 from Amazon for under $100 with over 200 watts of peak power. Great reviews from Amazon customers. It's more than powerful enough to drive my amazing Sony SSCS5 speakers. Those are crappy speakers. This guy is going crap all the way. There's no audiophile here at all. Some reviewers have said they're as good as $500 speakers or even $1,000 speakers. Oh. There is a reviewer that does that. Um, so please review the MAMP 1, and you will never again believe a cheap amp can't be an audiophile amp. So I went out and I bought the Mookie MAMP 1, this guy right here, and let's do a little unboxing. Take a look at it. Well, one of the first things you can see here is that it is a best choice. So that shows you the quality right off the bat. You're making a good choice buying this Mookie MAMP 1. Okay, I'm not totally clear on what Dynamic Fusion is, but it's got a high definition sound pro line with Dynamic Fusion, so that's pretty cool. And we'll just speed up this unboxing real quick so you can just get a quick look at what's inside the box. Just the basics, remote, the unit, and instructions. So this is the front of the Mookie MAMP 1 and you can see it's got a lot of stuff going on. Two mics. It says hi when you turn it on and then it defaults to the USB input. That is a little piece of plastic. It does peel off. It doesn't look that jagged when you peel it off. So you can see headphone input, two mics, mic volume, echo, bass, treble, balance. The input selector does not change the fact that it always says USB on the front so that input selector um, we'll change the inputs, but it doesn't change the front display. There's treble right there. Uh, that's for a cheap audio man. Uh, I'll skip that. It comes with an AM FM antenna. Buttons don't feel as bad as some people have said they do, and they actually shock shockingly work. Um, they feel cheap, but they don't. They're not garbage. And let's just take a quick look at the back. You got your standard stuff. You got a pair of speaker outputs. You got your audio inputs, DVD, CD, and an output. So you can send it out to another amplifier preamp if you want, and the FM antenna. Okay, the first test for any product to make sure that it is of audiophile quality is the wine test. Okay, so as you can see from this picture and from the next picture, it clearly fails to handle the wine test. It does not look great next to a nice quality glass of wine. But the real question of any kind of amp is the quality. So, after we did our 200 hours of pink noise to break in the unit, we then settled down to do 600 hours of our standard listening before we give any audio review of any product. And sadly, we couldn't. After only approximately 60 minutes of listening to this amp, the distortion was atrocious, and we had to simply stop. But I am going to give my strong recommendation to the Mookie MAMP 1 if you use it for what it's supposed to be used for, a digital karaoke amp. And why? Because when you sound like crap to all your friends, you can just say, the amp is a distorted piece of crap, and you are done. No reason to explain that your voice just couldn't hit those highs, or you couldn't hit the lows, or you're just pitch deaf. The fact is that the MAMP 1 
is the excuse any karaoke singer is looking for. And so, if using it for a karaoke, Scientific Audiophile strongly recommends it. If you're using it to listen to high quality audio, don't. And as a hi-fi amp, I can't even put it on our wine chart. There is no such wine that sounds as bad as the MAMP 1. So, thank you for watching, subscribing, and liking this video. Make as many comments as you want, and we will be back with more hi-fi reviews, hopefully of products better than the MAMP 1.